Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about on Facebook ad campaigns versus off Facebook ad campaigns. What are the differences between the two? What are the pros and cons? And most importantly, which ones on Facebook or off Facebook do you want to be using and testing in your Facebook ad strategy? Before I get into that, I just wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button. That's much appreciated and helps me out. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new and haven't done so already. Okay, so I'm in an example Facebook ad account. I'm gonna click on this green plus create button and then we're presented with the campaign objectives. Now I appreciate that Facebook is in the process right now as I'm recording this video of rolling out a new form, uh, a new presentation of campaign objectives. So you may well see something that's a little bit different to what I've got here. This is still the old version, but the principles of what I'm gonna talk about in terms of off Facebook and on Facebook are still exactly the same. They still apply. You're still gonna be able to do the same things. It just, these objectives might be reconfigured and look slightly different, okay? So when we're talking about off Facebook versus on Facebook, what we're really referring to is the destination that people are taking. So off Facebook ad campaigns are ad campaigns where people are taken off of Facebook. So once they click on an ad, they're taken through to your website or some form of landing page or somewhere else that's not within Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, the Facebook family of apps. On Facebook is the opposite. It's where someone interacts with an ad and they're kept on Facebook. Lead generation would be a classic example. So this one here, where someone clicks on an ad, they're presented with a lead form where they can fill out their information. You can go ahead and gather that and then contact them and progress them through your sales funnel. But they, on Facebook would also refer to things like messages, uh, but because of that still, even though messages is going to be messenger so it's technically taking people away from Facebook or Instagram itself it's still within the Facebook family of apps is, is, is what I'm getting at here whereas traffic a lot of conversion campaigns but not all are going to be taking people off of Facebook now one of the classic scenarios where people will be debating the two will be debating the difference between a conversions campaign that aims to generate leads via your website and a lead generation campaign that aims to generate leads within Facebook and Instagram and you could exchange that for messages as well and there's a big trade-off between the two. And the classic result that we see is that the lead generation example will produce a higher volume of leads for your budget, so a lower cost per lead. Whereas conversion, sending people through to your website will produce a higher quality of lead. And the reason why that happens is fairly obvious. On Facebook ad campaigns are very easy for people to interact, to engage, to get in touch, to become a lead off Facebook, they require people to take extra steps to go through to your website, to take a bit more time to leave the platform, to look around, okay, fill out the contact form or take whatever action it is you want people to take. So by making, by ha having more friction in the process with an off Facebook ad campaign, you are filtering out some of the lower quality leads. So which option is better for your business will often depend on what's more important for you. Are you after volume? or are you after quality? That would be typically what we talk about. There is an added factor here of iOS 14. After iOS 14, it has become more difficult to track off Facebook activity. So we know that your pixel data, for example, is not as good as it used to be. And that I think has tilted the balance a bit in favor of the on Facebook ad campaigns. Now, we still run primarily off Facebook ad campaigns. I'm not saying that it's now you should be running on Facebook, but if, if, if let's say 85% of our campaigns previously were off Facebook ad campaigns and 15% are now on Facebook ad campaigns, that might have changed to say 25 on Facebook, 75% off Facebook, something like that. And if we see further impacts on tracking, um, there's lots of talks in 2022 that we're gonna see browsers not allow any cookies, so we won't be able to get any pixel data. Um, it's going to shift more and more and more in favour of on Facebook ad campaigns. And that is one of the things that gives me a lot of confidence going forward about Facebook advertising is, is even if all our tracking capabilities disappear, we're still going to be able to do a tremendous amount of stuff on Facebook. And I said, it's not just limited to lead generation. There's also messages that Facebook shops are becoming more and more of a thing. Um, there's going to be lots of stuff that can happen there and that we're going to be able to track properly because it's all in app. And that's, there's no curtailment um, so far and nothing being rumoured about that happening on app. We're still gonna be able to track all that activity, just like your video view data, for example, is pretty good. Your engagement data is pretty good. There's no not being able to track people because that happens when some, when people go somewhere else other than within Facebook, Instagram, etc. What I'd recommend 
if you're trying to work out, should I be on Facebook? Should I be off Facebook? Is absolutely to test. It costs very little, both in time and ad spend, to work out which one works best for your business. Often we will create, say, a conversions campaign that's aimed to generate leads. We will duplicate that campaign, replicate all the elements, the targeting options, the ads, all that sort of stuff in a lead generation campaign. We will run either both alongside each other or run them sequentially if you don't want to do that because you don't want audience overlap. Not something I particularly worry about when I'm testing this sort of thing. And after a week, certainly two weeks, sometimes less time than that, you know, okay, you know what? Conversions is clearly the better option for us or lead generation actually is going to work better for us. Let's go ahead and use that option. Okay, hopefully that's been useful. Before you go, a couple of things I want to mention. The first is a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And in this webinar, I break down the three sales funnels that we use for our clients all the time. And I show you exactly how they work in detail. I also show you which one you want to use depending on what type of products and services you sell. Very, very important you get that right. You cannot sell $30 products in the same way that you can sell $5,000 services. You need different sales funnels. So strongly recommend you go through that webinar. It's completely free. There is a link in the video description below. So go ahead and, um, and check that out. Other thing I want to mention is our Facebook advertising services. So my company, Lead Guru, uh, we specialize in Facebook and Instagram advertising services. We create, manage, and optimize campaigns for our clients. We do have a 3K per month minimum budget requirement. If you meet that, you can go ahead and book a free call with one of my team members to find out more. Again, link is in the video description below. If this was useful, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. It's appreciated. Please subscribe if you're new and haven't done so already. I'm releasing content just like this that's going to help you get better results all the time. And comment below. Comment below with questions you've got. Comment below to let me know what you think. That's always helpful. And uh, yeah, best of luck with your Facebook ad campaigns, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.